Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a video of this really kick-ass hotel that we're staying in in uh, Glasgow in the UK and um, it's like just it's only like two stories tall but it's really long and it's all done up like in just really fancy old style with uh, a lot of really cool like ornate designs and stuff and it's kind of quiet in here so probably I'm not going to talk too much but I'm just going to try to show around a little bit. It would be really good for a haunted mansion. Like each room you get your own little key on. Here I'll show you. I actually have it in my pocket. That's a really cool stained glass. make such a good haunted house out of this place. It's so windy. Like look at that, like where the hell does that go? Underneath the staircase. It's creepy. More some more really cool stained glass. Let's see where this under the staircase goes. Fire exit. Places. I'll go a little the bistro area and that'll probably be the end. Oh yes. Good. Just doing another ground. Doing a walkthrough for a video. Would you like to come to the wine cellar? Yeah, that, so. definitely. It's a little bit, not, not as tidy as it could be, but um, <laughs> if you forgive that, <laughs> I'll turn the, the music off. Oh, that's fine. Right. Just mind your head very well, see when you see door. <laughs> Being six foot uh, three doesn't. No, no, I'm just saying. You should be able to stand oh, wow. up once you're in this side. Oh, yeah. Here, but there we go. So, when they, let me just put this off. When the. Um, when the. Uh, renovated the hotel. Uh -huh. the hotel, the van, this was an absolute must. Um, so, I think the first sommelier was about three foot tall. So <laughs> it's a giant room for him, but for anyone else, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Wow. And then we just keep all our, keep all our red wines down here. So oh, okay. Keep it climate control at a you know, right. set temperature and we keep some extra whites and things for stock. Gotcha. So. Don't let our drummer know that this is down here. <laughs> <laughs> Ray would, uh, Ray loves his red wine. Oh fantastic. Well he's more than welcome to have a look and I can know if you have any questions I can talk him through things. Cool. I'll have to tell him about it. Thank you very much. Well, you're, you're more than welcome. As I said just mind your head. Is, and, this, uh, uh, is this place haunted at all? Hey, not that I know of. Not that I know of. Uh, it, usually, I mean, it's with it being kind of five houses over yeah. time, they were all very separate. Oh, um, uh, gotcha. Usually, to have a, I mean, sometimes it, you know, it can be not the, not the most pleasant hotel, particularly because <laughs> the old power cutting things when you're uh, oh, really? wandering through darkened corridors, trying doors. Yeah.
I got lost under the stairs for a little bit. <laughs> well, it's, it's easy to do. Easy to do. But have a good day. Thank you. Well, that was fun. Hello. Hello. Just wandering through. I was. This is the whiskey room with apparently like 300 different types of whiskey. Too bad I don't drink. I ate dinner in here though last night. Had like the best club sandwich ever. Alright, I guess that's it. Oop, walking the camp. That was a fun little tour. This place is awesome. And uh, we're going to go head down to the city center in a little bit. I just walked around, took some pictures of some of the old looking houses with little steeple rooms and stuff. Peace.